The Little Petey State Park is located near the coastal border of South Carolina and North Carolina in Dillon County. The park is in a region of South Carolina known as the Sand Hills, which is between the Midlands and the coastal region. The park was named after the Blackwater Little Petey River, which flows within the park. On our trip to the Little Petey State Park, we first drove to the campground. This park offers one lakeside cabin. This camper cabin sleeps for and includes one set of bunk beds, one full-size bed, coffee maker, mini fridge, heat and air conditioning, indoor lights, and electrical outlets. According to their website, there is no running water within the camper cabin and linens are not provided. However, a water spigot, picnic table, hammock, fire ring, and grill are located outside. The rest of the Little PD campground has 32 standard campsites for RVs and tents. 11 sites are full service with water, electricity, and septic, while 18 sites have water and electrical hookups. There are also 18 other sites with individual water but no electricity. A lock, like a storage. You can buy from the camp post some firewood. <laughs> But have you seen any elect? These don't have electricity. There's Beaver Pond Nature Trail too. After riding around the campground, we then drove to the boat ramp, which is very close to the Lake Norton Spillway, and has nearby restrooms and picnic sites. The kayaks. There's the playground. Next, we drove to the small park store and office to get a map before heading over to the Beaver Pond Nature Trail. The 1.5 mile Beaver Pond Nature Trail can be accessed from the park road near the main office or from the campground. I personally would describe this trail as easy due to not having many hills and having a very flat and wide path. I will say, however, due to large amounts of rainfall, the mosquitoes were unbearable, even with bug repellent. While this park also offers a 2.1 mile long leaf pine trail, we didn't have time to hike it. One unique thing about the Little Petey State Park is they rent bicycles. While there are not many available, and they are more for older kids and adults, one cool thing is that the bikes can be ridden anywhere on any of the trails or paved roads. You're just taking a break? Yeah, it's got our marker on it. Is that a squirrel nest up here? The only bad thing is there's no shade out here. Be careful. You're in the cabin? Yeah. Yeah. Look, look at the paddle. Uh-huh. Like a flower. What is that, Carl? It's like a pine. What is it like? A pine. Hmm. It's a pine tree. It didn't grow yet. So you work where you go. No, Mom. I want to um go right, but me um to see at the um all the campers. We already rode by them. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carl, what you doing? Is that good? Them gummy bears? And I like these sour ones. Mmm. the best. Mmm. Andrew Williams, Eagle Scout Troop. 708-2013. Here, if you don't pull it up, I'll let me get a picture of it. Don't pull it up. Oh. Well, that's a beautiful flower you got there. 
Yeah, I saw the petals, two petals fall off. But you should leave it in the ground so other people can enjoy it. Oh, I never saw a green nut. Well, this is not. Oh, yeah, that's cool. These bugs don't give a crap about that bug spray. <laughs> I see the it. Tunnel. I see that. There's a tire. Right, Mommy? That's yeah. how we know we're almost there. <laughs> Is that how we know? <laughs> if we didn't, then we'll get lost. Is that right? Right, yeah, Mommy? The lizard ran, Bo. It's not over there anymore. <laughs> Bo, you're the worst hunting dog. You have to be strong to carry that bag. It's 15 pounds, I think. Well, that's one, my dummy one. Yep. So as the fastest boy in school, you're faster than what now? On everything. Sonic? Yeah, even faster than Sonic. Faster than my too. What's wrong with this tree? It's broken. All this, all the bark come off of it, huh? Oh, oh. Yeah. What that? I don't know. You think bugs did that? I throw my bugs. You think somebody took the bark off of that tree? Made it and tie them. Nope. Hooray! Hooray! That means we not twelve. Wait, mommy. Oof. This time we went fast. our hike, we learned that the swimming area had unfortunately already been closed for the season because of the amount of rain. However, we were lucky because we just so happened to make it back in time for the kids to do a craft. Yes, it's cool. This is cool. What is it? It's a bat. It's a bat. Next, we decided to cool down by having some ice cream before renting a John boat. All right, cheese. Cheese, cheese. 
It's an ice. Lafon okay. Norton thought the public in this area deserved to have a state park. His vision for a park started around 1938. But at first, the idea was turned down flat. Mr. Norton found an old place south of Dillon called the Devil's Woodyard, which had been a hideout for Henry Barry Lowry. Henry had fought for the Confederacy and turned criminal after the Civil War. Besides woods and swamp, Mr. Norton found within the several thousand acres of trees five bootlegger stills. At that time, about half a dozen landowners held the property. Norton was so persuasive, he was able to purchase the land from all of the owners, except for old Mr. Julius Ray. Ray decided that he wanted to give his property and not to sell it. To help build the park, Mr. Norton got Mr. I.P. Stackhouse, the road supervisor, to give him some chain gang crew members to help clear land for a lake. During the first year, they got five to ten acres done with a cross-cut saw as Columbia refused to fund them with a gas chainsaw. Then one day, a man named Mr. Ravenel showed up and told Norton that he had stolen $500 from another park and purchased a twin-engine Mercury two-man chainsaw. Later, the state came through with $300 to hire a bulldozer, and Mr. Newton hired John D. Coleman. After the dam and spillway were built, it took 31 days to fill up the lake, and in 1955, the lake was open. Later, the lake was named Lake Norton in 1991 in LaFawn Norton's honor for his dedicated service and significant accomplishments. It was the first time a state park lake was named after an individual. Norton died on July 17th of 1998, and it is written that prior to his death, he still looked back fondly on his time here. Hey, little baby. Hey, you pretty baby bird. He's so pretty. I don't think he can fly. He must have fell out the nest, Daddy. I'm not going to touch him. After our boating trip, we decided to cool off by riding around with our air conditioner on full blast. While we rode around the state park, we decided to stop at the Longleaf Pine Trailhead. While the kids were taking a nap, I decided that I would walk to the tent sites just to have a look. That ended up being a huge mistake as the mosquitoes almost carried me away. So the kids are asleep. So just me and Bo are going. Ow! That mosquito bit me in the face. God, they're all around. I don't know. This is awful. Uh, it's just a firing. Oh God, they're all over me. No, oh. oh, they're on me. Oh. They're big. After running back to the car, we drove outside the park gates to the primitive group area which, according to their website, is ideal for organized groups as it has a privy toilet and is only around $15 for 10 campers. Their primitive camping is not in the park though, isn't it? Like it's... I think that's for like scout groups. <laughs> the mosquitoes got us. Look, oh God, you let them in. Next, we decided to choose our picnic site. Come here, Bo. Let's see what this rock is. Yay. This is petrified wood from Black Creek in Florence County. It's fossilized wood found in South Carolina. It's 10,000 years old. Of a dinosaur fossil, that's a tree fossil over there. 
Lake Norton, named in honor of first superintendent of Little PD State Parks. Bo, look, look, look. Go get it, go get it. Oh, got too deep. He got scared. It got too deep for him. I guess it's gone. Yeah, that's okay. What kind of pod is this? What is that? No, it's got cup holders. It's the Eagle Scout Project by Sam Gibson, and it's brand new. It was just put out in June. <laughs> Bo, you jumped in over your head, huh? Come on. <laughs> you thought that was grass, huh? Of course, like all state parks, there were some things that we really loved and other things not so much. Some of the things we disliked included, first, the swimming area being closed. Second, the size of the bikes available. We were really hoping to rent some for our younger children. One of the roads were closed, so we didn't get to look around all of the state park. And finally, the presence of the mosquitoes. The five things that we really loved about this park was first, we really loved the campground and how shaded it was. Number two, we really loved the layout of the park and how the playground, beach area, boats, and picnic area are so close. Third, we really appreciated the well-maintained trail that was also clearly marked. Fourth, the entire park was very well maintained and clean. And finally, we really appreciated the improvements the state has made to the park. That includes the electric car charging station and the water bottle filling station. No, he's already eaten some. Face. Oh, you're in my picture. Me? Mm -hmm. Carl, you got frog legs dangling. Oh. And you in the briars. Get out of there. Oh. It's scary, yeah. You're going to get warts. Come on, Bo. This place is for both to go on. Right, Mommy? Oh, Bo. Bo was so scared, Daddy. Bo, you're choking yourself to death. Let me see. You found that? Yeah. It's a beautiful feather you found. Like a feather. Mm hmm. Keep yeah. on going. Oh. Gumballs. Yeah, sweet gumballs. Mm hmm. Yeah. If we open these spiky things, there's gumball in it. <laughs> no. No, that's silly. So, would we go back to the park? Yes. I would love to come back to the little PD State Park when our children are old enough to rent a bike. We would also like to come back when that road is open so we can see the Carolina Bay Depression, which occurred thousands of years ago. In addition, we would really like to see the PD River and the dogwoods when they are in bloom. In fact, we've already decided to come back during the car show Run to the Sun and stay here instead of staying in Myrtle Beach. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and as always, thanks for watching.